Question number one. Draw lines to join all the pairs of number cards which have a difference of 30. One has been done for you. So you can see that 170 have been joined and that's because if you do 100 take away 70 you get 30. Now the easiest way to do this is to go down the left hand side and take each one one at a time so that we're not being random we're doing it systematically so let's have a look at 150 now for a number to have a difference of 30 with 150 it could either be 30 above 150 which would be 180 or it could be 30 below 150 which would be 120 so do we have either of those two numbers on the other side yes we do we've got 180 there so 150 must join to 180 let's do a similar thing for 200 well 30 above would be 230 and 30 below would be 170 so we've covered both possible options of having a difference of 30 with 200 so are either of those two numbers in this list well yes they are there's 170 so that must join to there same again, 250, 30 above is 280, 30 below is 220, and you can see that 220 is down here, so that must join down there. And there's only one more left, 300 is going to have to join here, that's a nice easy one anyway, so if you add 30 onto 300 you get 330, so that's a difference of 30.